Hello, welcome back. All right, today we're going to learn how to use a program called Adobe Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator uses vector graphics, unlike the raster graphics that we've been dealing with in working with Adobe Photoshop. First thing I'd like you to do is click on New. And then we're going to click on Print. If it's not up here, click Print at the top of the screen. And we're going to choose Letter. All right. We're going to do it in inches, and we should automatically get eight and a half by 11. That's our letter size. All right, let's name this lesson one. I hit create. All right, you're probably familiar with a lot of Adobe stuff, so we'll go over here and look at all of our tools. You know, if you hover your mouse over something, it's going to tell you what the tool is. And it'll even give you a little short explanation on how to do it if you have any questions. Okay? All right. First thing I want you to do is I want you to go up to Windows. And I want you to click on Workspace. We want our Workspace to be Essential Classic. So remember that. Windows, Workspace, Essential Classic. Now I want you to go right up here. You see something called the Selection Tool. All right, we're gonna work with that shortly. But right now, what I'd like you to do is go down here to your ellipse tool. And if you hold the ellipse tool down, another window will pop up. Now, yours may say rectangle tool at first, but if you hold the rectangular tool down, it'll change to one of these other ones. And the beauty of it is, if I hold this down, I come over here to this, I can pull that up so I can keep all of my tools here at one time. All right, let's close that. For right now, let's come over here, click on our rectangular tool, and come down to our ellipse tool. I'm gonna hold the shift key down as I draw an ellipse. And that's gonna give me a perfect circle, okay? Now I can change the size of my circle over here. This is my um, area to transform, but for right now, I'm not concerned about it. What I do wanna do is worry about the, ins the color of my circle the fill and the stroke. So that's the first thing. Let's click on, you can click here for fill or up here. All right, and let's give this circle a color green. All right, let's change the stroke to blue and let's give it a stroke size of about 10 points. Now, if I click on my selected move, my selection tool, I can click on the circle and I can move it around all over the page. Okay. I'm going to go back over here to my shapes tool and I'm going to get a rectangle tool. And I'm going to draw a rectangle in front of my circle. All right. Let's give you a rectangle, any other colors you want. Doesn't make a difference. Just change the color of the stroke and the shape. All right. And the fill, I'm sorry. Now, when you click on either one of these, it brings up your marquee. But we've created this box in front of our circle. And it may be an opportunity that I want to move this box in front um, the circle in the front of the box. So what I'll do is I'm going to right click onto my circle on the box. And I'm going to go to arrange and I'm going to send it backward, not to the back. I'm going to send it backward. That's one layer. Okay, and that'll happen there. All right, I'm gonna draw another shape for you so I can explain something to you real fast. All right, so now I have this circle, that's this shape that's in front of everything. All right, if I right click it and arrange, if I send backwards one, it goes behind the circle, but it's in front of my other square. If I right click it and I say send to the back, now it sends it behind everything. Okay? All right. Let's say I want to make two of these circles here and I want to make them identical. Well, Illustrator gives us these lines that shows us when we're in the middle of the page. If I hold down the Alt key on my computer while I have this selected, you see I get those double arrows, and that is a clone. That means that I can, if I hold down Alt, 
and I drag my circle, I'm going to make a copy of it. Okay? And do it again. Hold, select all, select my object, hold down Alt, and drag it. I'm going to make a copy of it. If I go to these little points here and I hold down Shift, it's going to scale my circle evenly. If I don't hold down Shift, I'm going to get this action here. So I'm going to hold Shift down to get it in the middle. All right. hit delete leave all of my items all right and this is what I want you to do this is what you're gonna submit and turn into me today all right first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna start with a rectangle tool draw a rectangle at the bottom color doesn't matter all right Let's come back to our ellipse tool We're going to draw a perfect circle that sits on top of our rectangle. Let's change the color of that circle for me. All right. I'm going to make four copies of this by holding down my Alt key, dragging this over, making one. Doing it again, two, three, four. Let's change the inside color of each one of your circles. Just the fill color, just the fill. Don't worry about the stroke, just worry about the fill color. draw a select everything by drawing a circle around everything under select so hold down alt good all right I made a copy of everything now I'm gonna group it now everything selected we're gonna hit the word group over here and what that's gonna allow me to do is everything here now we move together. These are still independent. These two move one at, one at a time. But this has been grouped. All right. Let's come over here to our type tool. Let's click in the middle of our two boxes. Go up here and let's change our font size from 12 to 24. Type your name. name of the lesson. All right. Put it right in the middle. Okay, now that we have our drawing here, we need to learn how to save this as a JPEG image. If we were to snip it right now using our snipping tool, we would see this text box around the outside of our text. We don't want to see that. All right. So do me a favor, after you type your name, and then put in Illustrator Lesson 1, whatever size you want to put that in the middle of your screen. I don't care the color of it, it doesn't matter. What you're going to do next is you're going to go up here to File, Export, Export As. And we're going to export this as a JPEG. So we want to choose JPEG. All right, and we'll choose the file folder that we save our stuff in. And this is a vector graphic, okay? So I'm saving it in my gra my my vector folder, but it's still it's still a JPEG. So we're gonna call it Lesson One JPEG, and then click Export. Click OK. Now, when you go to your folder.
here's my JPEG, and this is what I'm going to submit. But I also want you to do this. Go to File, Save As, save your computer, find where you're saving your information. I'm saving mine under Vector, and I'm saving it as Lesson1.ai. All right, dot AI because it is an Adobe Illustrator file. Now remember, you're not going to submit to me the AI file. You're going to submit to me the JPEG file. Okay, go ahead and submit that file, and we'll move to the next assignment. Thank you.